Hey, this is Will Steele with DIY Boat Life, and today we're going to talk about my generator. My generator now is having this odd problem where when I start it, I get no, uh, not enough voltage. I barely get any voltage coming out. So you'll see if I start this right here, and I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start the generator. And it should start after a second. Okay, so now the generator's running. And now I'm going to flip on my shore power. And you'll see, I see no, uh, almost no voltage or anything going through here. So what's interesting is, actually it's kind of bouncing around a little bit. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try just rocking this switch back and forth. And let's see what happens. As I start to rock this switch on and off, it's over time, you're going to see that the, the needle bounces more and more. So I just keep on tapping it right here. And if I do it at just the right tempo, I'll get the voltage will increase. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. But it seems like it might want to stop on, on me for a second. Let's see if I can do this before. I... There we go. So look at that. I rocked that a bunch of times, and I'm up at above 90 volts. It's kind of fluctuating now, though. It's still bouncing, but I'm around 90 volts. So I find this very odd. You'll notice now, now I've actually got voltage just by rocking the switch back and forth. And now that it, I got the voltage up, the generator stays running because it senses voltage. Now I take that off, and let's see if I put that back on. I'm still around 90 volts. Let's see what happens if I rock this a few more times. Is that giving me a higher voltage? It's a little bit. I think as I put a load on it, I think we'll see the voltage kind of increase. So let's put, let's first shits and giggles put a voltage on it so I can turn on my AC unit. And that'll give me some kind of load on it. Hopefully we'll see that stabilize. All right, so now we're, we're stabilizing a little bit higher. We're around 110. I guess it's probably about a, yeah, about 110 volts, give or take. And if that AC kicks on, now we're at 120. But what's weird is, basically, just by rocking the switch back and forth, the generator comes back to life. And that is really weird. So as I get the voltage eventually to bounce high enough, now I'm, I'm back up at 120 volts. Really, really bizarre. I don't understand it. It's cool, though, that it happened so I could actually show you what happens, and people will believe me, because I would think I was I would think somebody was crazy if they were telling me that. So a little trick, just rock the switch back and forth of the generator until you see your voltage get somewhere above 60 volts, and you should get at least 90 volts. My guess is that the capacitor is going bad, and this is somehow kind of replicating flashing the field not sure. I'd love to hear some info from somebody that actually knows a lot more about generators. I ideally like electrical engineers, so they're really cool. Anyway, this is Will Steel, DIY Boat Life, with a weird fix that I have no idea why it works. Until the next episode, I'll see you later.